I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview Capricorn for us for this week of September the 21st. So this is pretty heavy duty time. There's a lot happening in the star chart right now. We're in between two eclipses. Just to give a quick overview, um, in between two eclipses Saturn, our ruling planet, just moved to the sign behind us last week. Mercury went retrograde. Mars is on the move this week, plus the sun. And Pluto in our sign comes out of retrograde. So let's have a look at the eclipses first. So it's in our solar fourth house, all to do around our home our um, home and family area. Now the moon is in this area and the access to that uh, point is the sun is in our career zone. So, um, you know, it's quite possible that something could happen in one area of your life and it can have an effect on the other uh, area. But certainly you should be able to come to some conclusions um, about a situation around your home if that's been up for discussion or contemplation. Um, so the moon energy in particular full moon and full uh, eclipse can be you know pretty intense and changes can come out of the blue that you know can almost blindside you a little bit and can you know change things around so you may not always be in control of it and we we know how we like to be in control um, but you know sometimes uh, events in our life are taken out of our hands and you know you, you just have to roll with the punches and at the end of the day um, you know we need that sometimes to happen because that forces us to make changes and to move forward now there is a favorable aspect between Uranus around our home and family and um, Venus and Venus sits in our area of money and area that other people can provide support so you know that's and so whatever happens around this area it's like someone steps in and you know gives us um, a supportive help up in some way and financially so that's nice um, now in our career zone uh, mercury is here so it's communications mercury is retrograde and does um, have a square which is a uh, somewhat confronting aspect with Pluto. Now uh, Pluto is in our sign. Now Pluto does come out of retrograde this week so that's a good thing you know it sort of moves things forward so there's a lot of movement in the chart right now. Um, and so some of it can be disruptive but at the end of the day <coughs> excuse me it's going to work out better for us so uh, it's just a matter of really stepping outside of ourselves a little bit and being more of a uh, witness to what's happening rather than being reactive to what's happening uh, easier said than done I know um, uh, but there, there are two aspects with Saturn as well this week, which is our ruling planet. There is some favorable news coming through um, uh, around our work. So this can sort of offset it. So, you know, when I look at the chart, I can see that things are a little disruptive, uh, but I can see that things are going to come through. It's almost like this is a few things need to be broken down before they can be uh, built up. Um, so the other aspect between uh, Saturn is with Mars. Now, uh, and that sort of tells me that um, it's like even though decisions can be made, there's like a little bit of a push-pull. So there could be some either some negotiating going on or there could be some delays. But at the end of the day, it looks like everything's going to like come through. So it's an interesting time. I certainly hope something, you know, fabulous breaks for us, um, all of us Capricorns. So <clears throat> I'm certainly sending my positive vibe out there for us. Okay, so love and love to you and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.